Hey guys, welcome to this Ready Set Crypto video. Today we're discussing what a bear market is and how to handle them like a pro. So financial markets do not exist to satisfy your desires. They're designed to cause the greatest possible damage to the largest segment of the investing population. They are designed to separate the cash from the retail money into the smart money. And this is known as the principle of maximum adversity. We'll try to show you how to be in the smart money, but it's not very easy to do. In fact, every single fiber of your being will fight it and will result in you making decisions that feel good, but are bad. So what is a bear market and why do they occur? The bear occurs quite simply because supply exceeds demand at least at the beginning. Buyers run out of the top because a price is reached where there's no demand, so price must drop in order to create additional demand. But then every subsequent lower high creates the same effect. And eventually, long holders panic, creating a huge supply of sell orders which leads to the final selling. Eventually the market exhausts itself of sellers, and the smart money comes in with the long demand. They are normally short in duration, extremely violent, and do tremendous damage. You can think of them as a forest fire of financial markets that allows a stronger market to rebuild from the ashes. In the equities market, a bear is considered anything worse than a 20% correction. In the crypto market, we've seen a typical bear is closer to 30 to 50%, although our most recent bear market is exceeding 50% at this point. So I just told you mechanically how markets move in corrective behavior, but most of the market is driven by fear. The euphoria at the end of the bull is driven by the fear of missing out, or FOMO. And the finishing move of the bear is driven by fear of preservation of what little is left. You can think of this bull bear cycle as a FOMO and FUD cycle, or fear of missing out leads to fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And notice the common word, fear. Fear drives everything in this market, especially in a bear market. So how do you prepare for the bear? Remember, it's nearly impossible to determine the correct course of actions to take during a fast sell-off when emotions are running high. Your old risk management programming will take over. To handle the bear better next time, follow these steps. First, are you only using risk capital? Investing is important, but so is eating and keeping a roof over your head. It's unwise to take short-term funds, money for mortgages or groceries, and invest them into crypto. As a general rule, investors should not get involved in cryptos unless they have an investment horizon of at least five years, preferably more, and they should never invest money that they can't afford to lose. Remember, bear markets, even minor corrections, can be extremely disruptive. Second, are you an investor or a trader? So I'm going to suggest something that might be hard to do because it's certainly fun to have in a bull market. But if you're an investor, you need to delete your Blockfolio or Delta app if you're checking it more than once a week, especially during bear markets. Otherwise, it's clear you're attached to a hypothetical value of your portfolio. The losses you take on paper will feel real, especially if you violated the first step and it will affect your subconscious. Your subconscious will want to protect you. It will try to make the pain go away. It has good intentions, but it'll make you do things that you will say to yourself later, why did I do that? If only I had stayed the course. And that's the thing you need to define before you open a position if you are a trader or an investor. If you go into something with a long-term hold mentality, you are not allowed to change that midway through. Long-term holders are going to get in with risk capital, and they don't care if they lose 90% of the position a week afterwards because they're thinking much longer term. Traders, on the other hand, are going to get in with tight stops built in and look to build the position by buying low when selling high. Figure out which camp you belong to and stick to it. You're allowed to define multiple strategies for your portfolio. Perhaps for your biggest position, you're a long-term investor, but for your smaller coins, you want to trade. That's completely viable so long as you define that going in. The third step is known as rule number one of risk management. Define your exits before you enter a position. This is self-explanatory, but so many people violate it. Your financial choices and decisions should be based on your objectives, risk tolerance, and time horizon, not on what everyone else is doing or worse, moves based on market panic. Market is essentially a crowd. It reflects the aggregated view of all of the participants. So in order to beat the market, you have to be willing to be different from everyone else. 
Risk management is one of the ways you do that. So it's no secret that everything you buy in crypto is risky, but it still helps to think of these three risk categories. First, you have your core holdings. These are the exchange pairing cryptos and those that are well established. These are the most likely to still be around in five years or 10 years and will recover after any bear market. The Coinbase pairs, for example, you know, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, are in this class of risk, as are coins that have developed many partnerships and have a unique working product with many applicable use cases. Next, we have the medium risk speculative. These would be cryptos which generally have a working product and niche, but are higher risk than the core holdings. They have a relatively established history, but there's still some uncertainty over the long term with regard to their viability. Last, we have the high risk speculative. This is anything created within the last few months, ICOs, low caps, etc. Unfortunately, most cryptos are in this category. So if you follow the information contained within this video, and in general, just slow down and take your time and think through things, you'll be on your way to becoming an intelligent investor. And by following these rules without exception, you will sleep like a baby through any drawdown in price. Only when you truly do not care about the outcome of a position will you be able to effectively manage it. Whatever your plan was at the entry of the trade, you cannot change your approach. Define an approach at the beginning, stick with it, and make changes for the next time. Don't fly by the seat of your pants and cause media or the herd to make decisions for you. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button so you can continue to see high quality crypto analysis. And don't forget to hit the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when we put out new videos. Additionally, check out the description for a link to our daily newsletter. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.